Hi everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us for today's webinar. I'm Cody. I'm the I'm a marketing specialist here at QNAP, and I'm here with our product manager Duval. Hey, hello everyone. Good morning. And today we're going to be going over QNAP's latest backup solution for Google Photos. Uh, we'll start the webinar off giving a brief overview of QNAP's mobile backup storage and the new Mars backup app for Google Photos on the QNAP. And we'll then have a live demo showing you how it works. Afterward, we'll have a brief overview of Seagate NAS drives you can use to populate the NAS. And then we'll close things out with a Q&A session. And then in, the follow and then in our follow-up email uh, we send, you, we'll include a link to, uh, to a survey that you can fill out to enter to win a Seagate IronWolf NAS drive. And there will also be a link for a video recording of the webinar. So QNAP has a number of mobile apps that help you connect and back up your mobile devices to the QNAP NAS. Uh, some of these apps include FileStation, QSync Pro, and QMagi. These apps are great for backing up files to your phone to the NAT, from your phone to the NAS. Uh, but up to this point, uh, it didn't provide a solution to back up all of your Google Photos to the NAS. For, for a long time, Google Photos provided unlimited storage of your photos for free. Uh, however, in June of 2021, this ended and free storage was limited to 15 gigabytes. This means you need to choose between running up large fees for the extra storage you need uh, or constantly free up storage locally on your phone or find another solution to keep all of your Google Photos. So QNAP's new Google Photos backup app enables you to leverage the large scale capacity of a NAS to solve this problem. QNAP's solution is the Mars backup app. As mentioned previously, this is an app that allows you to bind your Google Photos account with your NAS, making a one-time initial migration and then implementing subsequent uh, scheduled backups after that. In, in addition to being able to make mobile backups and Google Photo backups, QNAP has the App Hybrid Backup Sync 3 to help backup the actual NAS to external drives, to other NAS, or to cloud storage for additional data security. All right, so with that, Deval is going to give us uh, a hands-on look at how you use the Mars app to back up your Google Photos uh, to the NAS. Uh, thank you, Cody. All right, so uh, again, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Deval, I'm the product manager here at QNAP. So, the, so as Cody mentioned, now we have a new application that you can use to back up all your Google Photos to your QNAP NAS. This will allow you to uh, back up your, uh, all your photos that you have currently in Google Photos and migrate them to QNAP NAS. So once the unlimited storage ends, uh, you have some place to store all your photos and videos from Google Photos. And also in the future going forward, because uh, Google Photos is now limited to uh, a capacity, which is for free tier, it's, I think it's 15 gigabytes, you can actually keep using Google Photos and I'll show you a way to keep uh, backing up Google Photos onto your QNAP NAS. So once the Google Photos is backed up, you can delete the photos from your from your Google Photos and then keep and keep the 15 gigabytes for free. So when you're traveling and taking new photos, you have some space available. That new photos will always be backed up onto your QNAP NAS. So after a day, once it's backed up, you can delete the photos the next day. So you have, so you at least have 15 gigabytes. So you can keep using, either you can transfer everything to Google, uh, QNAP NAS and just use QNAP NAS. We have the ability, to, we have all of the similar features that Google Photos offers. Um, we have our own application for iPhone and Android called QFA that will also replicate what Google Photos does. So when you take a new picture, you can actually use Q file. The Q file will back up that photos onto the QNAP NAS directly. So once you migrate all of your Google Photos to your QNAP NAS, um, you know, the new photos when you take, you can you you can switch over to QNAP 
and then use QFile to now take put uh, and once you take a picture on your phone, it automatically backs up to your uh, QNAP NAS. Or if you want to still keep using Google Photos but not pay extra for additional storage, QNAP also has the ability to Mars has uh, war, the Mars software has the ability to actually keep backing up in the future. So when you take new pictures every single day, uh, QNAP will back it up towards the end of the day or you know, uh, whatever day you select, and I'll show you that as well. So you can actually keep using Google Photos as a free application for 15 gigabytes, and then just have to keep making sure that you delete all photos once it's backed up to QNAP NAS, and then um, and then you can keep using the free tier. Uh, that's one one of the advantages. And the other thing I'm going to show you is our QU Magi application, which actually replicates what QU what Google Photo uh, does. It's a very uh, enhanced software for photo recognition for photo organization. So you can actually use, it'll give you similar abilities what Google Photos does, and then um, and then it will show and we'll put that into uh, and it will replicate what Google Photos does again. But this is all again a free application from QNAP NAS. So let's get started first. So once you see the application, once you have more questions, uh, and once you see the interface, it will be better for you to understand as well. So first of all, uh, you first uh, log into your NAS. So I log into my NAS and you have to visit App Center. Now, again, this is a free application, so you're not paying QNAP uh, a subscription fee for this. Just look up Mars. And this is called Mars is multi application uh, recovery service. So, right now, this allows you to do backup for your WordPress if you have WordPress website services, or you can do Google Photos, and few uh, new softwares will be added. Now, just a note before we move further, customers who are actually using our QUTS Hero software, which uh, the model that starts with an H, TS-H, those, uh, uh, the Hero operating system does not currently support Google Photos. The support should be starting end of December. So uh, hopefully by next week, Mars will be updated for Hero operating system, so Google Photos will now be shown up for both. For those operating system, currently only WordPress is supported. So right now, I have Google Photos already. One of my accounts is already backed up, so you can see right here, you can see the log file of what's going on with your backup and how many services are connected. If there is any warnings or any disconnection, it will show you right here. This will show you all the services that have been backed up. You know, if there is any failed backup, if there is a successful backup, it will show you all of that right here. Um, but to add, once you have the application installed, you just click on Google Photos, click on Add Service. You, you can put the service name as anything. So I'm just going to choose a random service name. But what you need to do is you need to connect um, your Google Photos account. So click on connect to Google Photos and select the account that you want for Google Photos and then click on allow. And once you connect that, that's it. That's all you have to do and click on apply. And now the Google Photos will be connected to your uh, Mars application. So once you have the software or the application authenticated and connected, you now have to back up, right? So to back up, to click on back up, click on new Click on create backup job. You can name the job as anything, but you have to make, ensure that you select Google Photos on the top and then select the job name. Job name could be anything, Google Photos. I'm just gonna give a random name. Description, again, you have, if you wanna enter description, you can enter the description, but the source is where you're gonna select your Google Photos account. And that the destination is a destination folder on your NAS. If you don't have, because you cannot select the root folder, you have to add an additional folder. So I'm going to just select, uh, I have created Google Photos. I'm going to create an additional folder within, has to be a subfolder within the root folder. Again, you can have any folder name. Click on apply. Once you select that, click on uh, once you have a subfolder created, click on select. Now, if you want, you can also, uh, to create a new folder, go to control panel, shared folder. Now, this will allow you to create a root folder, but if you want to uh, set up 
Now, if you have a multimedia folder already, I would recommend creating a subfolder within the multimedia folder. So your QUMagi and other application can see what's within the multimedia folder. So go to multimedia folder and click on create a folder and you can just name it anything you wanted to. Because I have a folder already, click on that and click on select now. This, if you want to use, if you want to migrate and use QNAP as your sole uh, organization for photos, I would recommend to check in this box, which allow destination folder to be content, to be a content source for multimedia applications via multimedia console. What this means is that the all your multimedia applications from QNAP, like QUMagi or uh, QUMagi or Photo Station or Video Station, all these applications can now look at your media and give you uh, can start organizing your photos and videos so you can see what's going on. Now, the best part about the about the QNAP is, remember, all your photos and videos are stored within your QNAP NAS. There is no cloud services involved in here. We do not look at your photos and videos. QNAP does not have a cloud service that will look at your photos and videos. As soon as your photos and videos are transferred from Google Photos to uh, Q to QNAP NAS, everything that you see happens all locally. Even if you don't have your, once you, let's say you migrated all your photos from Google Photos to QNAP, you can actually disconnect your QNAP NAS from the internet and everything will still keep working, right? All your photos, all your AI applications, your face recognition, your object recognition, all of them, all of that will still keep working even if you disconnect the internet. That is the best part. So you don't have to worry about your photos are on the cloud. You know, once you migrate everything from Google Photos to QNAP NAS, everything is stored locally. All your metadata of, of your facial recognition or object recognition, all is stored within the QNAP NAS. Your QNAP NAS's CPU will be doing the brunt work of recognizing facials, recognizing objects, everything is done by the CPU or the processor of your QNAP NAS and the operating system that, you, that we provided. Nothing happens on the cloud. So just understand that part. So once you, uh, so if you wanna use your, uh, your QNAP as a main multimedia uh, source, then make sure you, and you check this box. And then once you start backing up, or, so here is where you wanna select what you wanna back up. So you, you can back up everything that you have on Google Photos, or you can actually select certain app, uh, certain albums. So once you select certain albums, you can select which album you want to do. You can actually select multiple albums. So, so let's say you want to keep certain albums on the Google Photos, and you don't want to transfer everything over. You can actually select all only those certain albums, or you can say I just want to migrate everything from Google Photos to your QNAP. So once you've selected all, it will do that as well. Now. The best part is we also provide you with schedule. Now, what schedule means by that is you can do a manual schedule where it only does one time backup and that's it. So if you want to migrate everything from Google Photos to QNAP NAS and you want to stop using Google Photos, then you can just do a manual one type copy and that's it. And you and then you start deleting everything from Google Photos and now you can start QNAP NAS. So with QNAP NAS and Q file application on your phone, your future photos and videos will be will be backed up to your QNAP. But let's say if you want to keep using Google Photos, but you want to also take the advantage of your QNAP NAS with, with extra storage, you can actually run a schedule. What I mean by schedule is you can do a daily copy. You, you can also do weekly, monthly, or even periodic, but you can, I'm gonna give you an example of daily. So every day, at two in the morning, so when no one is using your NAS, do a copy of my photos and videos onto my QNAP NAS. So you can also do weekly, you can do one time as well, or you can do monthly. One time is you can select a date and time when you want to migrate. Let's say you just want to create a schedule right now, but you want to, you don't want to start a migration. You want to do it in a future date and time. So let's say you decide that you want to move everything from Google Photos to QNAP NAS, but Right now, because everyone is using your NAS, a lot of activity is happening in your network. You don't want to have QNAP use all the network uh, network speed of your 
home or small business, you can say, I'm gonna start migration today, but I'm gonna start at two in the morning. So what this will, this will do is this will, this will start backing up your Google Photos on, uh, oh, so it has to be tomorrow, right? So tomorrow at two in the morning or tonight at two in the morning, start backing up all my photos and videos. So when no one is using your network or when no one is using your NAS, GNAP will start backing up your photos and videos. So by the time it's morning, everything is backed up, depending on how much data you have and what's your network speed. Hopefully everything is backed up, but if you have a lot of data and a, lot of, and a slower network speed, it may take a longer time as well. You can also do daily, as I mentioned. So if, if you wanna keep using Google Photos, but you wanna be, you don't wanna pay, you just wanna use the free service of 15 gigabytes, you can use a daily feature where once you copy everything from Google Photos to QNAP NAS, every single day at two in the morning, QNAP will back up the new photos and videos you've taken for the, for the last day onto the QNAP NAS. So everything you take new, everything happens for that day will be backed up that night at two in the morning. So that's another great feature that QNAP offers where you can use, keep using Google Photos as a free tier and then use the QNAP's extra or um, the a lot of, again, you have multi terabyte of QNAP that you can actually get. Uh, Seagate now provides you with six, uh, four terabyte, six terabyte at a very reasonable rate. You can also go up to 20 terabyte hard drives as well that you can actually add. So you have a lot of multi terabyte of storage that you can store on your QNAP NAS. And the best part is you don't have to pay monthly fee for that. So you can actually have a large storage for your QNAP NAS and uh, you can use it with Google Photos. You can also do weekly, monthly as well. You can also do periodic where you can start and then every few hours, the QNAP will back up that uh, photos and videos. So you can say start my backup at uh, tonight at two but every, um, but every uh, 30 minutes, I think minimum is 30 minutes, yeah. So minimum is 30 minutes, um, I think maximum is 24 hours. So that's daily, but you can actually say, QNAP, please back up all my photos and videos every hour, every 30 minutes as well. So if you're really paranoid that you may lose up your data, you can actually have Mars keep backing up every 30 minutes, your new photos and videos that you have taken. So let's say, you're, let's say you're traveling, right? And you're, you're taking a lot of photos. Maybe you actually taking that many photos that within a day, you may be ending up you losing or using up that 15 gigabyte. You can actually ask QNAP to back up your photos and videos that you've taken every 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes, the QNAP will back up the new photos and videos that you have taken from Google Photos. So the best part is, even if you don't have internet access to your phone, your QNAP will still be connected to Google Photos. So when, let's say you go back, let's say you're traveling uh, out of country and you don't have internet when you're traveling outside, but when you come back to your hotel, QNAP will back up your new, or sorry, your phone will connect to Google services and back up your new photos and videos. After 30 minutes, the QNAP will start backing up those new, uh, those new photos and videos because now Google Photos have the updated information. So after 30 minutes, the QNAP will back up that information to your QNAP NAS. So that's another great feature in Tobol as well. I'm just gonna keep it as daily. Once you've selected that, hit apply. And then uh, click on, you can either apply that. So if you wanna do the next backup at two in the morning, you can click on apply. And then that will start, um, that will, that will, the backup will start. And at two in the morning, we'll start backing up. If you wanna do a backup right now, if you, if you remember there was a backup now button, you can click on that. It will start immediately backing up or you can click on the, uh, action icon and then click on backup now. So that's another great feature that QNAP offers. You can also restore, if you, let's say if you, for example, if you deleted something from Google Photos, now you wanna restore something back from the QNAP NAS into the Google Photos, you can actually back up that information or you can actually restore that information. So source will be the Google Photos and the destination will be the Google Photos of the uh, account, and uh, and then you can do you can use the latest version or specific version as well. And then once you have once you have done that, QNAP will now restore that data from the QNAP NAS back to Google Photos. So even if you delete something by mistake or somebody else deletes something from Google Photos, 
then you want to keep it gna will back up that google photos into uh, or so will back up from the qnap nas into google photos so that's a quick run through of what mars application looks like and how can you can back how you can connect google photos and how you can actually back up your google photos onto qnap nas so so once you have, so that is the that's a simple way to do it there's no uh, the application is very simple to use there's nothing much uh, into it it's very simple you can connect your google photos and then start backing up the next feature i'm going to show you is how you can actually replicate what google photo provides you with but with qnap nas so i have another nas that i've backed up all my photos and videos there's another application called qmagi again you can download that by visiting uh, the app center download that uh, application and then this is the application that we it's it's similar to what google photo offers so so a lot of ai features uh, and then it will look at all your photos that you have downloaded from google photos and it will create like an album list as well as it will create um what a lot of ai features as well so uh, when you log into qu magic it will so first time when you log into qu magic you have a lot of photos this will allow you to now yeah this will allow you to uh, it will start looking at your photos and videos so it will take some time for it to generate your metadata so we'll look at all the faces it will look at all the photos all the objects within photos location history uh, a lot of a lot of features that we'll see so it will it may take a long time to generate metadata but once it's done it will show you all that information right here so when you log into give magic it will show you all the information about your photos you can go back years there's a timeline here as well you can go you can go years as well if you want to go to many years back so let's say you want to go to 2016 you can click on 2016 it will go to, go down to 2016 um you can also scroll back up to 2020 there's different views as well um uh you can also do sending ascending date taken thumbnail size all of that you can all you can change that right here so you can change you can do all of that right here just like google photos but the main feature that we provide is ai recognition so on the left there is something called album when you click on album this will show you all the ai features that qu magic has to offer so it will do people recognition object recognition you can tag your photos it will recognize it will recognize faces within the photos recent imported photos yeah all the videos will be uh the media type will be videos similar photos if we have a lot of similar photos kidnap can recognize all the similar photos i'm going to show you that in a couple of seconds but you can it will also do that as well it will show you the burst photos timeline videos that you have taken 360 video you have taken and live videos so these are all the all the uh ai features that kidnap has to offer by default and then you have albums that you can create by yourself now let's look at people recognition right so people recognition again it will look at all the faces within the google photos and it will and it will group them together so it will start recognizing and then we can start looking at faces as well you can click on the uh, particular face and it will show you all the photos of that particular person within within your albums or within your uh, within your photo history again and um So all the faces they've taken now let's say if you have a new face that hasn't recognized it will show you it will tell you who this is or who is this now sometimes what happens is that if the photo is taken on an angle it may not recognize the same person so when you have a new photo you can actually click on who is this or you can actually click on merge and it will show you um uh, you can select the uh, photo if, sorry if you have multiple different angles and has recognized multiple photos you can select multiple people and then click on merge and you can it will merge all both the uh, both the photos and it will be the same person or if it's recognizing a single photo you can click on who is this and enter a name and that will be the new and when you click on okay that will be the new person right there or you can select uh, you can either select if it's already a person that it has recognized before you can select that person and then it will it will merge them together as well so so right here i've just named that person now ali is now a photo that i've taken within the google photos and now 
if you go back to uh, albums, that will be here as well under Ali. So that's all the photos that it, it will show you as well. Um, now, the great part is that if you want to search, you can also do a search. Now, if you want to search all the photos that of myself, you can just click on, uh, just type the name of the person and click on enter, and it will show you all the photos of the wall that I've taken. Another great feature QNAP offers is face, uh, face search. Uh, if you don't know the name of the person, but you want to recognize, you want if you have a photo of that particular person, you can just upload that to QNAP NAS, and then it will show you if it's if it's a photo with multiple people, it will show you all the faces as well. But right now you see my photo right here. I I can click on the my, my face and click on search. It will see who that person is. If it's already in your database, like myself, it will show you. Oh, this is Deval, and then um, you can click on that and click on finish, and will show you all the photos of Deval that the QU Magi has recognized. So it does facial recognition as well as it will do face search as well. By things, this will recognize all the things that you have um, that QNAP deems that's important, like food, greenery, nature, people. Uh, transportation, sports photos. So if you want to look at any photos, or if, you want, if you're not sure what photos you want to search, but let's say if you want to search all the sports photos from your library, you click on sports and it will show you all the sports photos as well. You can also do search of things as well. So I'm going to search for all my uh, photos of cars. You just type cars and some, it, will reckon, it will show you all the photos of cars as well. Sometimes it does miss photos as well. So that is okay as well, but the main point is it will try to show you all the photos of cars within the uh, within your library as well. So let's say I want to show you. Uh, I want to search for photos of flowers. Click on flower or uh, type flower and hit enter. It will show you all the photos from flower as well. So again, this is not pre-recognized. I haven't added any tags here. This is all done automatically. Just type the object name and hit enter. Let's see what Google Photos. Oh, sorry. What can you imagine can show you as well? That's things. Another thing that it can do is places as well. So it will recognize all the photos, um, all the uh, all the locations from your photos, and will give and will group them together, and it will show you as a list. You can also do maps as well, just like Google Photos does. We also provide you that feature as well. It will show you all the maps, and you can click on particular location from the map and it will show you all the photos that you have taken from that location that's another great feature qnap offers called places if you have a lot of events so what what i mean by events is let's say you're at a concert and you take a lot of photos back to back back to up within a few minutes or within a few hours qnap will see that it's always oh, an event and it will show you that event unfortunately i don't have an event so it won't show me like that but and also recently imported photos, all the videos you have taken from your library, it will also show you that as well. You can also um, uh, you can also play them as well. Um, also similar photos. Now that's another feature that QNAP offers: similar photos. So when when you take a lot of similar photos, QNAP uh, it's hard to recognize them and how to because they use a lot of space from uh, on your either Google Photos or QNAP, right? QNAP can recognize all these similar photos. You can select the rest of the photos and you can delete them. So you will only cop, you can keep only one copy and then will delete the rest of them as well. You can select multiple of them, ensure that you actually have one copy not selected. So, uh, so it will actually keep one copy, but the rest of them, you can delete them as well. If you have a lot of burst photos or time lapse as well, it will show you them as well. All the 360 photos that you have taken, it will show you them. And the 360 photos, uh, live photos will be show, shown up right here as well. And then lastly, I'm going to show you albums. So albums is where you can create an album of multiple. You can select uh, photos. You can also upload them manually as well. Uh, and then uh, it will create an album from your photos. But what I'm going to show you, just like Google Photos, right? You have albums as well. But what I'm going to show you is smart album. So you can actually create smart albums from QNAP NAS. So this is where you don't have to manually go and select a lot of photos, right? You can actually ask QNAP to create an album for you using the AI feature. So let's say I want to create a photo 
that has all my photos, right? So I can say the ball. Uh, if you have multiple, if you have a lot of people that are, you're actually using your NAS, you can actually um, provide them permissions as well, or you can also put them public and share this link to somebody. When you put public, it doesn't po it doesn't post this album online. It just allows you to create a link that you can share publicly, so nobody so there's no login information is needed. So, but when you put public, the, the QNAP doesn't publish it. It just gives you a link that you can actually use to share them with your friends and family. Right now, I'm just gonna keep it only me. So the source path is where, where you have your photos, right? Um, now, so let's say I wanna create all the albums of myself. I can also actually exclude. So if you have a group photo with a lot of multiple people, you can you can actually say don't include them, just include myself or include multiple people, or you can actually add multiple people. So it will create an album with all all the pictures together. So once you have done that, and hit create, right here, it already created all the photo, all created an album with all my photos. I didn't have to go manually select all the photos it automatically created an album for me. So that's another great feature QNAP offers. Smart album, you can actually create a photos of all the cars, um, things you can say, um, car and then create. And there you go, it creates all the photos of the cars within the album. So that's it. That's very simple to create. A lot of features that is offered, people, ratings, things. You can also do tagging as well, date taken, file size, color label, media types, dimension, even we offer camera brand as well. So if you use a lot of camera, different types of camera, it also does that as well. You can select all the photos from Al Apple, Canon, Google Photos, all of that is supported as well. So that's smart albums that QNAP uh, offers as well. We have application called mobile application called QMagi. You can also use that to upload all your photos and videos from your phone to QNAP as well. Um, so that is QMagic in a nutshell. I tried showing you a lot of information. Uh, I understand this is a, a, a lot of information in a single webinar, but this webinar will be recorded. So if you wanna go back and look up anything, you can always play back the video. It will be shared via a, a follow-up email, uh, but, um, and that is it. Uh, before we go to all the questions that we have, uh, I'm gonna pass it down to Cody. All right, <clears throat> and we actually have a, pardon my voice, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, we actually have a guest from Seagate, uh, Sean, and he is going to be uh, presenting a little bit on the Seagate drives. Um, these are, we do a lot of work with Seagate uh, because their drives, they make drives specifically built for NAS and they work really well. So we will pass it over to Sean. Yeah. So. Thanks for joining, um, to invite me to join. Um, I'm Sean Chu from CK Channel Marketing. Um, I want to go over uh, what's the NAS drive for uh, QNAP. Um, as you can hear from the QNAP, um, their function is really good to helping you to import uh, when Google uh, limit on their storage. Again, you can in import the photo easily using the Mars uh, application uh, to the NAS. But to, to helping that, uh, of course, hey, you cannot use the NAS without the drive. So I want to let you know uh, the Seagate NAS drive on work is the perfect match for the Q uh, QNAT NAS. Just quick go over the Ironwolf uh, family. We have new fra fresh on the Ironwolf Pro. Right now it's on 20 terabytes, but we actually making workload even higher. So on Ironwolf, uh, as a normal uh, working rate, is up to 18. And the Ironwolf Pro 20 terabytes is the capacity. Uh, we also uh, offer Ironwolf 125, is SATA SSD and the M.2 NVMe 525 series. That's the whole uh, family lineup. To quick over 
we actually based on our uh, family portfolio offer it's basically cover all the scenario the QNET NAS we'll be using uh, I want to I highlight here our Armor Pro right now uh, upgrade the workload for the new version with the NT up to 550 terabytes per year read and write which is pretty much high workload for video uh, photo of course can cover as well so by upgrade the workload you can you don't need to worry about how using the drive basic basically enterprise label of workload it's basically for 24 7 up to five year limit warranty we also including three year uh, data recovery service when you buy the drive no additional uh, need to purchase we also have all the drive we have is a CMR drive we don't have any SMR so worry free on that uh, also will be performance um, endurance is perfect uh, to match with QNNS just quick uh, share with you uh, what being covered what's our advantage on the Ironwall Pro it's basically no limit on the bay and workload is awesome and uh, including the rescue service and also it's met compatible with all the QNAT NAS as well. Uh, additional quick say is our Java is also uh, working with the Flash uh, with the QNAP. Um, you can compare with the one or two uh, with the Flash version of NAS Rackman. But that's pretty much my slide. Awesome, perfect, thank you, Sean. <clears throat> so we're going to open things up for a uh, Q&A, so you can let us know any questions that you, uh, that you might have, and, um, and we'll also be covering any questions that have also been uh, available. All right, so uh, before we move on, there's a question from Alex for Sean. Um, Sean, um, uh, there's a question called, uh, why not use Exos versus, uh, versus Iron Wolf? Can you help answer that? Yes, so Exo is designed for all purpose enterprise. Uh, Iron Wolf is designed just for NAS. They packing with different features. Uh, Exo don't have it. So it's kind of not apple to apple comparison. It's more like, more like a, this is the dry with enterprise level uh, workload, but they, we pack with the IHM for NAS and uh, which is rescue is come together with the NAS. So it's kind of different package feature uh, for the NAS specific. Hope Perfect. I answer your question, yeah. Perfect. All right, so let's get to the rest of the question. Um, so the first question we have is, could, we, could you please let me know what AI features are included or can you show AI and search? So I, think, I think the question came in a little bit earlier in the presentation, so hopefully I answered those questions via the demo. But as I mentioned, QU Magic allows you to do facial recognition, object recognition, uh, is all included within the QNAP NAS. So, that's, uh, so hopefully that answered that question. Another question is, if you have done a dump of all your Google Photos, can I select the directory these are in or uh, have to resync and delete the original dump. I may have to get some more information, but um, I guess I mentioned on Google Photos, you can select what albums you want to do. And on the QNAP, you can actually select wherever folder, whichever folder you want on the QNAP NAS. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be on a particular folder. You can actually create different folders for different albums. So if you want to have different folders, so you just have to create different jobs for different albums and then select new folder for every different albums like will it do dedupe from existing folders um so deduplication is not supported for these um now if you use the qts hero if you have full, if you have a deduplication on the on the folder level it can do deduplication but the similar photo features that the ai provides is similar to deduplication where but you have to manually select the full, the duplicated photos and videos and delete them from your QNAP NAS. Another question we have is, does Mars work with Apple as, as well? So currently we just got the authorization from Google with Google Photos. So uh, hopefully 
that we have Apple uh, compatibility in the future as well, but right now it's only Google Photos and WordPress. Um, we have submitted a request to support Apple as well. So hopefully in the future versions, we have Apple. If we do support Apple, we'll have another webinar. So um, keep a lookout for that as well. Uh, also, I'm actively using Google Photos and I delete a photo on Google. Can it reflect on the next thing and delete that photo? No. So this is a backup functionality. So uh, that is the main feature. So even if you delete something from Google Photos, it will keep that on your QNAP NAS. You can use QMAG to delete if you want to delete the album or delete photos. Um, so the, because of the backup functionality, you have the added advantage of using both services, but keep the Google Photos as a free tier. So you can only use the, and because it gives you 15 gigabytes of free, so you can take a lot of photos and videos when it's, once it gets um, filled up, Google Photos can keep that and you can delete. Uh, so you can do a backup to Google, to QNAP and then delete all of that photos and videos. Uh, so when you delete something from Google Photos, it will keep that into your QNAP class. Now the question is, does this backup process automatically remove photos from Google? From the Unfortunately, because we don't have right access, uh, the Google Photos provide does haven't hasn't provided us with right access, so it doesn't delete anything from your Google Photos. Google Photos is only read only, so it only backs up. It it does not access your Google Photos and deletes anything from your Google Photos. So you have to manually still delete everything from Google Photos. Another question is incremental. Is this an incremental process of full backup? No, it's an incremental backup. So every time you have, every time it runs a backup, it only copies new data. Let's say if you, if you haven't taken any new photos or videos for that day, it does not do, well, it'll still run the backup job, but nothing will be copied. It will just finish immediately saying new photos, no, no new photos or videos have been taken. So it, it's an incremental. Does backup automatically remove Photos, as I mentioned, I think I already answered this, but again, it does not delete anything from Google Photos. Does Mark Mars work from iPhone Photos? Right now, it does not. Hopefully, we have this feature available in the future version where you can do that as well. Another question is very slick. Over oh, thank you so much. Um, another question is uh, the what QMAG AI info is sent back to QNAP servers. So as I mentioned before, this is the best part. Nothing is sent to QNAP servers. Everything is locally stored on your QNAP NAS. So all the AI features that I showed you, it all happens by the operating system and the CPU of your QNAP hardware. And it's all stored locally. Even if you, as I mentioned, even if you disconnect your internet from your QNAP NAS after the backup is done, all the AI features will still work except location for services. The, the map won't be shown because it's a live map. So, but it still show you locations. It does. It does not. It will not show you the live map that you saw in the demo. But everything is all stored locally on your QNAP NAS. Nothing is sent back to QNAP hardware or QNAP hard. Oh, I'm sorry, QNAP servers. Does Mars contact directly to Google Photos in the cloud or through your phone? No, it does not use your phone as a uh, as um, as a connection method it all happens directly so that's another great uh, benefit is even if your phone is lost or if your phone doesn't have any internet service google photos or QNAP will still keep backing up your photos and videos from google photos because it's a direct connection Okay, so there's another question. The face recognition obviously needs to store its information somewhere. How much space is needed for this? On my 253 BE, the system is running on a 500 gig SSD and a 212 uh, terabyte Iron Wolf hard drive containing the photos. After some time, the system drive is full and I believe it's caused by QUMAG. Now I have re reinstalled the OS without QUMAG and everything's running since months. Um, because QMAG was a newer software, uh, there may be a bug that was in the older version that may use up a lot of system space, but the new version should not have that issue anymore. So uh, the facial recognition, object recognition does not take any space or it takes minimum space because it's, remember, it's still metadata. 
it's only text documents that it creates or some kind of document that creates but it's not it, it's not taking actual photos and videos so that should not take more more than a few megabytes so i would still recommend trying the qmagi as a newer version and then hopefully that should uh, that should not take that much space yeah, will QUMAGI identify multiple in one photo? Multiple, I think you mentioned, I think I need more information, but um, I think it says multiple faces in one photo. So yes, it will recognize multiple photo faces in a single photo. Uh, you will see the same photo in different people's um, albums. So uh, if I have a photo of me and my, uh, myself and my, my wife, it will show you uh, on her album as well as on my album as well. Does Mark work with regular files or just services? Um, I'm not really sure. Right now, we su Mark supports uh, Google Photos and uh, WordPress or uh, WordPress website services. So only those two. If you're talking about QMagi, QMagi will support the photos you already have. It doesn't matter if it's an iPhone, Google Photos, Canon Photos, any type of photos, it will work with it. Uh, I think that's what your question is, hopefully. But if not, just uh, you can ask a further question down the line, and I can answer that for you. Uh, so not this is a Alex has another question. Not a question. I'm running a backup right now. The task information window isn't showing any data transfer. Um, so right, yeah. So if you just started the backup services, uh, depending upon how much photos and videos, how much data you have on Google Photos, it won't. It will take. I I think my last I have almost. Uh, I think almost 900 gigabytes of data and it took about a good five to ten minutes before it start showing progress so um i would give it maybe 10 to 15 minutes before we will show you progress indicator but yeah it should work can qnap provide me with a bigger drive now that the new features are going to use up all my space yeah we can talk about that <laughs> I meant regular files on your drive. Um, no, Mars, it's only on only Sony does two types of services, uh, WordPress and as well as um, Google Photos as of now. What QNAP device supports Google Photo backup? How new? Uh, all the current all the current generation should, should support it. Any all the new all the current version of firmware devices dating back, I think a few years. Uh, because the best part about QNAP is we try to provide firmware support for like as long as the hardware supports us. We have seen the firmware, this current generation of firmware going back at least four to five years or even further than that, six, seven years of device support. So if you have the newest version of the firmware, it will have that feature. Okay, what I wanted to know, uh, that's what I wanted to know. Perfect, so I was able, hopefully I was able to answer your questions. Um, I think that was the last question from Scott, but if you guys have any further questions, we'll wait about a minute more before we end the webinar. And uh, again, thank you all for joining and thank you all for the questions. That was a good, uh, good list of questions that we went through. But if you guys have any further questions, we'll wait for a minute more. And thank you, Sean, for joining the webinar today as well. No problem. Thank you for being by me. Bye bye. Can you share additional information on the future supported services? Um, yeah, unfortunately, right now, uh, uh, right now, the only supported uh, services are WordPress as well as Google Photos. Uh, uh, the the problem roadmap doesn't have anything updated as of yet, but we're actively working on new supported services. I know for sure. Um, so the TS212 won't support it. Unfortunately, yes, I think the 212 is a really old ARM based processor, so it doesn't support the AI features. Unfortunately, we tried, uh, but the, the software, it's, uh, because remember, these are AI applications we're using, are using the, not only the operating system part of it, but also the CPU. The CPU just is not powerful enough to be able to support the AI feature, so we're not able to put support for that in the 212. So this is a big deal. There's no easy way to back up Google Photos. Sincere thanks to the team. Oh, thank you very much for the feedback. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for the feedback. Yeah, I'm all when I saw the service, I was really excited as well. I, I actively use Google Photos, but since this year, I ended my um the two terabyte plan I had, which is what 9.99 per month, I think uh uh which is costing me a lot because since I have a almost 60 terabyte worth of uh worth of uh hard drive space on my personal kidnap NAS and I have almost a terabyte worth of Google Photos. I was just hesitant to transfer all of that. It was just a long process. So since now we have this service, I tra immediately transfer everything, all my Google Photos onto my Kinap NAS. And I think on my 31st December, my Google Photos, the 999 plan ends. So it goes back to 15 gigabytes right now. So yeah, I was very helpful. I was also really excited to see the service as well. Mike says, yeah, we do an upgrade for an upgrade. Yeah, the as I mentioned, the current generation will be able to easily support all of these new features. Uh, something like a 251 D2 uh, should be a great upgrade for you. Uh, Sean, I'm not sure if you're still here. Uh, Sean, there's another question. We have competitors having 22 terabyte. Will Seagate have a larger drive than 20 terabyte in the near future? Of course, it's in plan, but we we want to. Not all the people need a 22 right now, so we focus on upgrade the, the workload to the endurance uh, for more people can have enjoy the, the feature first. So in future, yes. Perfect. So hopefully, keep that answer the question. So they will be having a a, a, a drive a, a larger drive, but uh, it's in the roadmap. All right, guys, uh, wait for a few more seconds. For the similar photos in QEMAG, will it delete the selected photo from the NAS or you have to go to file station and delete the photo? No, actually delete the photo from the NAS as well. Not just QEMAG because QEMAG shows anything in from all the information from your NAS itself. So when you delete something for QEMAG, it will also delete from the from the NAS as well. So that's another great uh, good question. And also, um, because most of the NAS should, by default, there's a recycle bin enabled service. So even if you delete something by mistake, you have 180 days by default in the recycle bin to restore something. But yes, there is a, when you delete something for QEMAG, it will delete them, delete that information from the whole NAS. Are there also other applications on Kinap to back up your photos from Android? Andy? Yeah, so we have an application called QFile. QFile is the application that you can actually use to back up all your uh, photos and videos that you have on your Q, QNAP, oh, sorry, on your Android phone, even on the iPhone as well, you can back up everything. So let's say for users who actually, actually, no, that, that brings another good point. So for users who are actually uh, requesting Apple iPhone or Apple photo backups. So as of now, we don't have a direct uh, direct way to back it up, but you can actually use the QFile application to transfer everything from your Apple iPhone to your QNAP NAS. So QFile can actually go back and look up all your old photos to back it up to QNAP NAS. So not only the new photos that you've taken, but also the old photos. But going back to your question, George, um, yes, the QFile as the application you can use to back up your old as well as newly taken photos. And if you provide QFile with your location um, access to your uh, to your operating system, we use that to keep, uh, so again, 
the Q file does not use location information for our servers, but it uses location information to keep the app alive in the background because remember Google Photos and Apple both uh, will, if nothing is going on with the, within the application, it will close the application in the background. So the photos and videos will start uploading because you know, the operating system killed the application. But if you provide with location information, as soon as you move around, you can the Q file get access again to uh, to the RAM and it can start backing up. So even if you have the app minimized, QNAP can still back up all the newly photos and videos that you have taken. Um, up uh, on uh, will upload that information in the background to QNAP uh, to your NAS itself, not our servers, but your NAS. So hopefully that answers the question. Uh, thank you, QNAPS and Seagate. Oh, thank you so much for the, um, uh, thank you so much, Frank. Again, thank you guys for all the questions. They were, those are some great questions that cleared up further for all the users as well. Also, look up for the follow-up email for a survey uh, for uh, for a chance to win Seagate hard drives as well as the QNAP NAS, which is TS-130. All right, that is it. Uh, I think no further questions. So uh, back yeah. to you, Cody. Yeah, thank you, guys. Uh, like Deval said, we'll be sending out that follow-up with a link to the survey, which will enter you to, uh, to win. Uh, as, uh, NAS or also uh, Iron Wolf uh, uh, Drive. And we uh, will also be linking to a video recording of this webinar if you want to go back and review it. Uh, thank you guys again, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.